the dark side of Twitch. Welcome to another episode of Formcast. When I talk about the dark side of Twitch, I really want to talk about what happens after you hit Twitch Partner. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background. If you guys don't know, I started streaming June 2020, like a lot of other people during COVID, and then I hit Twitch Partner in March 2022. Um, so it took about a year and a half or a year, whatever the math is on that. I'm not good at math. That's why we don't do it. So I hit uh, Twitch Partner March 2022. Um, I went in uh, my first application. I uh, received the honor of getting a purple check mark beside my name. And um, at that time, we were sitting around 90 plus average. 91, I think, was my max um, during the whole application part and all that kind of stuff. Now, being a Twitch affiliate and a streamer on Twitch, uh, a lot of people want to hit that Twitch partner. It's it's literally everyone's goal uh, because, well, I mean, it's literally plastered all over your statistics and your analysis. Um, you're sitting there and you say, path to partner. You have all these requirements you have to hit for that. Now... I say it's everyone's goal. Now, I think what I meant by that is more so everyone has the same goal plastered on their Twitch page, on their brand, on their channel, on 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 that part of being a streamer on Twitch. It's like on YouTube, everyone has the same YouTube partner requirements to hit if they wish to do that. Now, not everybody that streams on Twitch wants to be a Twitch partner, and that's understandable. And maybe after this um, episode, you might change your mind on how important it is for you as well if that's something that you want to do. So I hit Twitch Partner March 2022. Two things happened. One, I got a purple check mark beside my name. Amazing. Ecstatic. I couldn't be any happier. It was a lot of hard work. Did 75 average to get all the amount of time in to grow the community and all that kind of stuff throughout the years. Um, some people do it faster. Some people take longer. doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I got a purple check mark. There is no, for the, a lot of people said, you know, like, oh my God, you get more money now and all that stuff is so great for you. I don't get more money. Twitch partners don't get more money. We actually um, get 50-50. Uh, and when you really break it down, depending on where you live, I don't even make 50% of the cut of my sub revenue. Uh, bits are the same as Twitch affiliates. Donations are donations and all that kind of stuff, right? So when you break it down, if you make less than 50%, of what your sub revenue is anyways, uh, the sub cut with Twitch is, it's what is the benefit of hitting a Twitch partner? What is the benefit of becoming Twitch partner of putting the work in and the, the outreach, the connections, the networking, all that kind of stuff to hit the numbers you need in order to get a purple check mark. Well, th th there's a couple benefits, but to be honest, nothing changes. I got a purple check mark now. Great. All the people that helped, that watched the stream, that shared the stream, that were there constantly watching and tabbing up and lurking and whatever they wanted to do, however they wanted to do it in order to support you to hit that 75 average because that's the hardest part of it. All the people that did it just to help you get that goal are now gone. They are gone faster than, I don't know what, what goes fast? A burrito in my mouth. And that's fast, ladies and gentlemen. So two things happened. I got a purple check mark beside my name and people were really happy and hyped up and I was really happy and very proud of myself. I still am proud of myself. There are only 50 some thousand partners on Twitch and I'm one of them. I'll take that out of the millions of streamers that are, are on the platform as well. But then everybody starts leaving because they were only there to get you to that goal. Now, what this does to a streamer is a couple things. I mean, you, 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 wonder why and you wonder uh you you realize that some people were only there to help you hit a goal which is great and and super helpful of them but it doesn't set you up for long-term you know sustainability in terms of growth in terms of success on the platform i find so everyone wants to hit twitch partner but they don't know that nothing changes they realize that it's this big thing and it's this uh achievement and i think that would be the only reason you should do it is to simply say i've achieved this and to mark it off your list of things that you've wanted to do on the platform and say i've done it now we go on to whatever else i need to get to the hard part is when you hit twitch partner and you achieve that goal and now your path to partner is complete and you never look at it again no one really is able to connect with you on, on the level of what your next goals are. You can share that. I want to get partnered with this person, this company. I want to go here. I want to do that. 
but it's very difficult for people to relate because they don't have the same goal. They don't have a little checklist that says, I want to get to this company partnership or this or that sponsor, whatever it is. So it becomes a little bit harder for people to realize and to relate when people can relate to you with your, your goals and all that kind of stuff. I find they're more able to, uh, find the ways to support whatever ways they want to support. Nonetheless, there's a bit of a dark side to Twitch as soon as you hit Twitch partner. And it's not necessarily something that finds you. It's not something that comes up. It's not a pop-up that says, Hey, beware of this. A really good streamer, Sweet Tales. I'd like to say a good friend of mine, but I've never spoken a word to her. Maybe one day. She once said that this industry, the content creation industry and streaming on Twitch is, is a cutthroat industry. And you have to be selfish and you have to watch out for yourself and you have to just be careful of a lot of things. And it is very, very true. I've experienced so much negativity from other people that are Twitch partners for, I would like to say no reason. Now, that being said, everyone's got a reason to act how they want and have the opinions they want, but it becomes a fact that, that is not talked about, is not shared, is not brought to light, that it is a huge competition between a lot of Twitch partners. You're a Twitch partner. That's great. I'm a Twitch partner. That's great. But a lot of people, apparently, for some unknown reason to me, if you know the reason, drop it down in the comments and on YouTube. But there's a lot of people out there that say, I don't want to share or lose my community or lose my hard work or share with you or give it to you or whatever it may be by helping you answer a few questions you might have about things, asking for help on some things, asking for tips doing co-streams together, sharing communities. It comes very apparent that some people will love to help you. And that is like far and few in between, it seems. Now, this is my personal experience. Not everybody's going to love you. Not everybody's going to want to help you. Not everyone's going to want to talk to you. That's fine. But it becomes very apparent. And I don't know if it's only when you hit Twitch partner and you have a purple check mark and people know that you're a partner on the platform. It seems like I don't care if you're a partner. I don't want to like even go near you because I don't want to lose what I've, what I've got. The people that watch me are there for me. I don't want to introduce them to something that might be better or something that might be just as, as good or something that might be less good, but still a good time. Know what I mean? So there's a lot of like darkness I find around Twitch partner. And again, this is my personal experience and this is me speaking my own opinion. After all, it is my podcast. That's a great, that's a great feeling. At the end of the day, I hit Twitch partner and nothing changed. I don't make more money. They demand more ads to be, to be, to be, uh, uh put on your stream. And that's, that's a whole other episode. You get a purple check mark. People are not able to relate with your goals. People leave because you've hit a goal. They think that that's your all-time goal, so they don't really care what you have going on. On the plus side, I will say, after you hit Twitch Partner, you really tend to start to see who's there for you and your content. The numbers might doodle down. They might even go up. But there becomes this very tight-knit group of community members that are making it known and making it very aware that they are there for you. And that's what we hold on to. And that's why we show up. And that's why we hit record. That's why we hit go live. That's why we sit in this chair for hours on end to bring that form of entertainment to people that are there for us and that are truly there to enjoy the time, the entertainment, the content. Hitting Twitch partner was something that I worked towards for a long time. And it was something that as soon as the numbers started going up, I said, wow, this is actually possible. It's not something that I set out to actually accomplish. And I think a lot of people are that way. If it happens, it happens, which is a great mindset to have. But when the start, numbers started going up and I actually hit it, I thought it was life-changing. Now, a few things did happen because I'm a Twitch partner that really affect the way that you can go in your different directions on, on Twitch or as a streamer or content creator in general. 
a lot more emails come in about, you know, partnering up with them and partnering up with this company and that company and sponsorships here and there. My G Fuel partnership at the time, being a Twitch partner, was a quite, uh, it was a large requirement to being even able to speak with the company itself in terms of being uh, any uh, type of an affiliate or a partner uh, program with them. So there are things that having a purple check mark, it helps, but it's not the be all, it's not the end all. It's definitely something that if it's on your list of achievements, 100%, go for it. I encourage you. I'm there. I did it. But it doesn't change your life and it doesn't change for the better immediately. In fact, in my personal experience, it's gotten worse. Now, I'll never understand the human species <laughs> ever. I worked with the public for many, many years, and I still don't understand why people do things they do. But it's okay that they do it. And it's perfectly fine that they do it. It's, it's something that we have to just be able to accept, to handle, and to move forward from. But I'm going to tell you this, Twitch partner, there is nothing that changes, and there is definitely a dark side that comes with it. Now, it's up to you if you really dive into that dark side or you stay in it or you go close to it or if you just stay in the light. It's really up to you. Like anything in life, you start to realize who you need to be around, who you need to surround yourself with, what type of friends, what type of people, who do you want in your circle that's going to make you feel good, that's going to motivate you, encourage you, inspire you. It doesn't go without saying that in any industry, any business, there is competition. And we as streamers are our own thing. However, there is massive competition. And I don't know, again, like I said, I don't know if this is only because you, once you get a Twitch partner, you, you get this, you, the door opens to the fact that it's like this. But there are definitely smaller streamers that are Twitch partners that are very competitive. There are definitely large partnered streamers that are very competitive. They will act one way in one way in a certain spot and then online in public, they'll act certain ways. They'll do this, they'll do that. Whatever is needed to get done will get done. It's really up to you on how you want to be. Do you want to be a Twitch partner first off? And when you become a Twitch partner, do you want to be the person that is just the helpful, the I don't care what happens with my community. If people love you, they love you. I'll share this. I'll share that. Let's work together. Or do you want to be the person that says, no, no, no. I'm only going to choose and pick very specifically to what benefits me most instead of trying to figure out how we can all help each other. It doesn't take long to figure out that there is definitely those two sides, the helpful and the, I don't know what you call them. The non-helpful we'll call them. And it's tough. Because in the world of the internet, words get twisted, miscommunication is had, lack of information is insane. And those are literally some of the biggest issues and biggest contributors to major problems. But what would I know? Not like I taught problem solving or goal setting into criminals that change their life. At the end of the day, for me, my personal experience was amazing to get the Twitch partner. It's a roller coaster after. So if you want to get on the ride, you better hold on. You better strap in. I'm telling you what. It's a fun one. If you have any comments about this, go on YouTube. We do put the podcasts on YouTube weekly. Feel free to comment. Feel free to give some feedback, ask questions. Perhaps your question will be the topic of the next episode. We'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers.